I'll discuss some precursors to good listening and avoid bad listening. Okay. So what are those precursors? First thing is you genuinely must develop curiosity towards learning new things or just this openness that, okay, you know what, I can learn something, something new can come in and I want to know. So this general curiosity and this ties to the fact, the third principle that I talked there was the knowledge and cooperation, constant seeking knowledge and uh, knowledge, right? So if you understand the importance of constantly seeking knowledge in life, then you also become curious to seek it, right? And so this is why when you're talking to other people, even if you may feel like they may not know much, they may be younger, they may be junior, they may be anybody, and they may feel like you may feel like, okay, this person is not supposed to have any experience here. Still, if you just have this curiosity that you can know what I really want to know, you will still give it a chance because uh, if you're if you're curious, you listen more. You'll just sit down with your uh, with attention to somebody. So curiosity is a big precursor to good listening. Okay. And that's why if you develop curiosity, not only will you become a uh, ultimately better listener, you will actually be able to amass better knowledge, which is kind of our fundamental. Okay. As you can see, I'm giving these talks in live online events where anyone can join. If you also wish to attend, it's very simple. Go to our website page, sridharlifeschool.com slash events. Just join our email list and our Telegram channel. We will keep you updated. If you're watching this on YouTube, you'll find all the links in the description. If you're watching this on Facebook, just comment hashtag link and you will immediately receive a message from us in your inbox with the links. By the way, we also have some WhatsApp groups, but they are only open to people who actually attend the events. Hope to see you in our next event. Back to the talk. Second is precursor to good listening is equality of status, right? Now, this again is very uh, fundamental part of uh, those three skills, right? What was the second one? Equality and similarity. So if you understand equality well, listening also comes naturally. How are they connected? Uh, let me tell you. So when you talk, we all of us have this expectation that we are heard. People give us a chance to talk. They actually listen to us, right? They don't interrupt us, right? So if you just tap into your own needs, how do you feel when others interrupt you or they, you, they don't let you talk? You immediately get the answer that, okay, it feels bad. I don't want that. I want to be able to express freely, right? I don't want people to interrupt me or to stop me or block me, right? This is why once you simply understand that this is my need and others are equal and similar, so it must be their need too. So if you simply understand the equality principle, treat others the way you would like uh, to be treated. So that in itself would naturally lead to this, you know what? Now we have to listen to other people because I want others to listen to me. So if you understand equality well and similarity well, again, naturally it leads to better listening. Okay. Uh, third is, uh, third precursor is uh, the acceptance of others' right to disagree with others. So uh, quite often uh, you have many people, most people actually have not fully accepted the fact that others can just disagree with you and they can find you wrong. Uh, they can uh, actually have very counter opinions. And these disagreements, uh, they are especially difficult when he, uh, the matters are more and more important and especially when people are close to you, right? So you're discussing something when you're talking. So the moment you feel, okay, you know what, this is going in another direction, like you're planning something, you, you say, I want to go to North and somebody says, I want to go to South. So the moment uh, somebody starts talking about South, you're like, you know what, uh, you just don't want to listen anymore because you know where this is going. And there you have not made peace with the fact that others will have different opinions. Others will disagree with you. So if you're not expecting that in advance, you would want to shut them up. You, you will not want to listen to them. But if you accept the fact, okay, you know what? Others will always have some differing opinions. It could be wrong, right? Doesn't matter, but it, it could be different from you. And you just accept that fact you naturally become better listener because then when they start talking and it's different from you, you're like, you know what? This is just the nature of life. I accept it. So I can hear disagreements. I can tolerate them. Yeah, I would, I use the word tolerate because yes, it is difficult. It takes time to be able to take disagreements really in a mature manner because we are not built like that. We just want people to be on our side. We just want to team up. We just want to be proven right. And that's why because of all of those things, we become bad listeners. Okay. So how do you override that again? By accepting the fact that people will always be disagreeing. Okay. Another precursor is prioritizing people. Okay. So in general, where do you put people? Okay. 
so if you put people uh, in an important uh, basically in an at an important status in your life that okay you know what people around me are important then what they say also becomes important to you just by uh, connection so it's like uh, if you are at a job interview right you are paying full attention to what they are asking you right or what they are saying to you because the job is important to you the people are important to you you cannot run away you won't you won't just pull up your phone from your pocket and you know what start uh, scrolling instagram because uh, that situation is super important and that makes you an amazing listener okay uh, the same way if you're interested in a movie and if you're really enjoying it then of course you become a better listener so of course although that's slightly different because it's about your enjoyment so how or do we become better listener if you in general you say you know what my wife is very important to me my children are super important to me okay yes i have my work yes i want to relax yes i want to uh, talk to my friends but no my family is super important to me so when they become important naturally uh, you prioritize what they are talking right and when they come to talk to you you leave everything aside and you listen and that makes you better listener too so in general the precursor would be try to prioritize people over other things in your life when they talk you listen okay that will make you a better listener okay shrigar life school now offers group counseling sessions now you can take help on your mental health and family issues with other people at much lower cost than one on one counseling currently we are offering three topics first parent anger management this is for parents so that they can manage their temper and learn to stay calm with their children second topic child anger management This is for children so that they can manage their anger and be emotionally intelligent. Third topic, learning importance of education and studying responsibly. This is also for children who are losing interest in their academics. Right now all our sessions happen online. To book seat for yourself, go to our website page. We will keep updating new batches and new courses on our website only. Link is also in the description. If my videos help you in any way and you want to support me, please make a donation. I can use your donation to buy better clothes and eat more avocados. Yes, I'm in India. Avocados are expensive here.